Welcome everyone, in order to activate eSIM in our iPhone 14, we first need to check if we set up the phone or not. So click the lock button once, then click it again. If you see a lock screen, which looks something like this, if you have set up your iPhone before. If you see the hello screen show up, you have not set up your iPhone. If that's the case, you want to follow the on-screen instructions on the setup screen until you see set up mobile service and wait on that view. If you have already set up your iPhone, we can still go to the setup mobile service area. You do that by opening up the settings app. From here, you're going to find where it says mobile data, tap on this one. And then you're going to see setup mobile service, tap on this. Now you should see uh, on your iPhone, what you haven't set up or the iPhone you have set up, the exact same view, which is setup mobile service. So we have the option to transfer our eSIM or physical SIM card, which is in our old iPhone to our new iPhone. I'll cover that one in a bit, but for a lot of you, you want to use a QR code. So in order to activate eSIM, you need your eSIM QR code. This QR code should be sent uh, by your carrier in your mail app or as a physical cardboard piece of paper, okay? If you do not have an eSIM QR code, and you just want to set up eSIM, then you will need to contact your carrier in order to get that QR code. So now I'm going to tap on use QR code and it says scan QR code. So you just place the QR code in the frame of the camera. OK, now in my case, I see invalid activation code. The reason why is this is a sample eSIM. But for you, you will see something along the lines of set up mobile service or set up carrier, something like that. You just follow the on-screen instructions and an eSIM will be set up. Now, let's discuss transferring either our eSIM or physical SIM from our old iPhone to our new iPhone 14. Do keep in mind that in order to do the transfer, if you want to do physical uh, SIM card on your old iPhone to eSIM on your new iPhone, the carrier must support the feature. If the carrier does not support the feature, you will get an error which says no SIM cards to transfer. However, regardless of the carrier, you can transfer eSIM from your old iPhone to your new iPhone. So before we proceed on the iPhone 14, you want to get your old iPhone and you need to set it up for the transfer. You do this by opening up the settings app. From here, you're going to find where it says general. Then you're going to find where it says about. So just make sure that you are running iOS version 16 or newer. If you're running software version 15 or older, then you need to go out of about, tap on software update, and you must update your iPhone to the latest version of iOS before you continue. Once you are on iOS 16, go back to the homepage of settings, tap into Bluetooth, and just make sure Bluetooth is on and you see now discoverable as. If you don't see now discoverable as, just tap on the Bluetooth toggle once and tap on it, uh, on it again to turn on Bluetooth. Once we've done this, we're now going to tap on transfer from nearby iPhone. You should see here transfer phone number. If you do not see this prompt, you will need to turn off your iPhone 14, turn it back on, go out of this view here and then go back in and that will solve the issue. How to turn off your iPhone 14 tutorial is in the description. So from here, you're going to tap on continue and you'll need to enter in the verification code you see on the new iPhone 14 from your old iPhone. So mine is 996239. OK. Now you can see no phone numbers found. This is because the physical SIM card in my old iPhone cannot be converted into eSIM on my new iPhone. However, if I had eSIM set up on this old iPhone, I would see set up mobile service or phone numbers found and then there'd be on screen instructions in order to continue and complete the transfer process of transferring the eSIM from your old iPhone to your new iPhone. If the physical SIM card in your old iPhone does support the conversion to eSIM, you will not get this no phone numbers error. Instead, you will have the option to convert. If you are in a situation where you have a physical SIM card and this conversion isn't working, Call up your carrier, ask them to convert 
the physical SIM card into eSIM for you, what they will do is they will send that QR code. And once you have the QR code, you can tap on use QR code and then scan the QR code and then you will have eSIM fully set up. When eSIM is set up and converted from the physical SIM, the physical SIM card will stop working. So just keep that one in mind. With that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.